Alrighty, I'm gonna teach you all another quick here, little something something. All right, so these are catfish. You don't want them to sting you. So there's a certain way you gotta grab them. I'm gonna teach you guys right now. These are the catfish that we have over here on the Atlantic side, and they can definitely be pretty uh, feisty. But you gotta make sure that you get up underneath their fins. Once I get there, I'm gonna lay, wait for this little guy to slow down. All right, so you see how I grabbed him? You see how those fins right there are actually above me? Well, they've got little tiny pokers inside of their fins right here and right here, and then they got one on their back right here. Catfish can be pretty stinking dangerous, but only because if you get stuck by one, yes, you will have to go to the hospital at times. Depends on how bad they stick you. But because I'm experienced and I know how to handle these bad boys, I don't have to use no pliers. This is a great tasting fish if it was what we call a sail catfish, which have a much bigger sail. It actually goes to about right here, and you're typically gonna find them a little bit bigger. But this catfish, he's got some little whiskers. Say hello to the baby. We're gonna say goodbye to him. Yeah, girl, what you got? What you got? I'm on two fish, you on zip. Let's go. What's up guys? Cheers, right? Cheers to all y'all out there. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. Hope that my dad bod and my rolls aren't upsetting the people for some reason because pff, dad bods aren't abs. Well, you're right, they're not abs. They're, they're way sexier. You know why? Because for each roll means for every donut you wish you had. <laughs> I don't know. But Excuse me? I said, hope y'all are used to seeing saggy man titties. I think you need to throw bait out there. You oh, doing? you talk Hurry up. What are you doing? Hurry up, bro. You still got to catch a fish. You're the one slacking. I've been getting smacked out there. You've been getting smacked, but you ain't got no fish. <laughs> you get smacked all you want, I'll smack you. <laughs> you can't fish with credit cards. I promise it doesn't work. You got to put bait on the hook. Otherwise, you don't catch fish. And I just realized that just moments ago. And I'm gonna show you guys something real cool here in just a little bit too. There are these things called sand fleas that you'll catch on the beach and you actually gotta dig in the sand for them. And I'm gonna show you how to do it here in just a minute. Um, let me go and cast this out and I'll be right back. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day, staying blessed, staying beautiful. Alrighty, so I did that so y'all could see what I'm doing. There are these little tiny things called sand fleas. I don't know if you can see that. They got cute little legs. If you guys can see that they're moving and stuff, I'm gonna put them here on this. Uh... Woo, they're just trying to run away now. So, let's go and show you guys this real quick. So you guys can see what they do. Yep, a little, little fast guys, fast little fellers. But these things are damn good use for bait. Look at this little cool guy I grabbed out of the sand too. I don't even showing know what he off, is. Showing off the good one? Yeah. So, all right, you guys, so these, we call them either warrior sand fleas Ow. or uh, hermits. So the thing is, it's not an actual hermit crab, it is a sand flea. These are a different breed and they're actually one of the most crucial breeds to the entire sand flea population. They are one of the best to eat, which is a lot is crazy for a lot of people, but they are also fantastic um, bait. They work great for using for permit, they work great for using for like snapper and such, and being able to have them is actually a great thing around here because you don't see them all too often. They've got cool little claws, they've got some sweet feet. Just so you guys know, uh, a lot of people call them other things, so that's just what we go by. Put the finger in the mouth? Yeah, oh. because you can hold them. They don't have teeth. Uh, you can yeah. hold them with your fingers. Sure, until he bites down on you. No, they, don't, they can't bite you. <laughs> Alrighty guys, this right here is what we call a whiting. They're one of the sweetest fish out there, better than snapper, hands down better than croaker. These fish are really good sweet white meat and you can actually eat them for sushi. I love eating them. Um, I don't know if anybody is actually like screen recording the live, 
But if any of you girls could just screen record a moment pictures, where please. we're catching fish, I'd appreciate it. That would be amazing. If you, you hear me say fish on or something, press screen record so we can get it all on film. I didn't even know this guy was on. He was like all the way down there on the beach pretty much. He pretty much swam to the beach for me. So that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> How much of a fight? Give me a lot of you guys here coming soon. This is a croaker, really damn good eating. I'm gonna go and replace the beer and put this fish right next to it. 